Well, are you ready to see? Would you like to see what we're crafting today? I'm excited. I'm going to go ahead and show you what the finished sample looks like here. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, this is an eight by eight shadow box. It's good, nice construction, thick wood. And this is what we're going to be making. Isn't it cute? So we're going to be making this shadow box. Look how cute it's topped off. We've got snow. I'm going to show you a really fun technique on how to do the snow. Let me put it under this camera right here so that you can really take a good peek at it. <laughs> I think it's adorable. Let me make sure my light is on here. Let's see. Oh, that's much better, I think. Doot, doot. There we go. I'll turn that up. Okay. So now you can kind of see, again, really nice, good construction on these wooden shadow boxes. I'm going to show you a little technique with the snow. Um, we've got some presents. We've got a cute little bottle brush tree. I love this Santa napkin. This Santa napkin is awesome because it looks like he's putting the star on the tree, doesn't it? There's actually a pretty tree behind this um, bottle brush tree. <laughs> So you'll see that here in just a moment. And then um, top it off with a, a, a nice little peppermint there, some pretty ribbon. It's just really a nice, beautiful piece. So um, we did decide to make this as a kit. Um, for those of you that uh, love Christmas crafting, um, we get asked for kits all the time. So we will have some kits available for this, um, this project. And also, just so you know, I really love shadow boxes. I love creating little shadow box decor. So this is going to be the first of more. This will be the Christmas shadow box. And then we will start doing some seasonal shadow boxes in our um, DIY decor series. Okay. So this will be the first of more to come. But, you know, let's start with the best. Let's start with Santa, right? <laughs> I love him. Okay, so let me show you kind of what all's in the kit. I want to make sure you know everything that's in the kit, um, just so that you can see the value that's in there. Um, and then we're going to start crafting. So I'm going to put our little shadow box here to the side for a moment. I want you to see this shadow box itself. Okay, there's lots of little goodies and things inside of here. But um, just so that you can see, it's really good construction, really nice um solid heavy not lightweight um well when i say heavy it's not like you know you're gonna be able to lift it just fine but it's not gonna teeter on you <laughs> it's gonna stand up nice and straight and then everyone is gonna get a six inch bottle brush tree this is six inches it's the perfect size for this um shadow box it's gonna be great for that and then you're also going to get some batting and some snowflakes okay and i'll show you how we're going to create a really pretty um snowy uh appearance in our shadow box with those things you're also going to get some sprigs this is going to be to put up in the bow it's going to be very cute and then you've got a little goodie bag here that's going to include ribbon and twine and the star for your tree and the large peppermint and the pom-pom for his hat and all the little ball ornaments that are going going to go in the tree so i think you can see there's lots of little components for this and of course you're going to get this beautiful napkin now you're going to actually get half of the napkin so you're going to have two pieces here and i like giving you two pieces because sometimes you know uh something can happen. You'll have a little part that will tear. Maybe you have to patch a little spot, spot, right? I like for you to have kind of a backup napkin. Now, here's the other reason why I like for you to have an extra napkin is because you can decide if you want your Santa to be on this side of the tree or this side of the tree. Okay. Do you see how he's, he's on both sides? So you can choose if you like one side better than another. Okay. So I think he's precious. I hope you do too. And um, yeah, this is what we're going to craft today. So if you have any questions along the way, please ask them. Please ask them. Like I said, um, Cheryl is going to be here with us. My throat's already getting dry. <laughs> Cheryl's going to be here with us to answer any questions that you might have. And then I also want to tell you the additional supplies that won't be in your kit. 
really easy, keeping it very, very easy on you, okay? You're gonna need red paint. I'm using Poppy, this color called Poppy, and white paint, and I'm using Simplicity. Now you can use whatever red and white paint is in your stash, that's completely up to you. I'm just letting you know what I'm using. So a red and a white paint, uh, again, I'm using Poppy and Simplicity. And then you're going to need Mod Podge Matte for your napkin. You're going to need your hot glue gun. And you're going to need some stickles because we're going to have lots and lots of sparkle to this. And today I'm going to use a, um, a, a unicorn, which I don't really show that often, but I absolutely love unicorn um, is the color of the stickles. But if you have crystal or you have diamond, those will work as well. Okay. And um, that's all you need. That's all you're going to need. OK, now I do like to put my napkin down with a, a plastic uh, plastic wrap or a plastic sheet. So if you have that, that's always handy. If you don't, you can also just use like a chip brush um, to pounce it down um, and some scissors. Yeah. So, yes, I think you're going to like this one. <laughs> all right. So let me move. I got a little make sure I have everything out of this. There we go. I'm going to move all of the stuff out of the way. I'm going to show you the finished shadow box again here in just a moment. Let me move all these goodies over here. Whoops, almost dropped my tree. Because we're going to paint, start off by painting. So let's look at it again. Here it is. See if I can. Here, I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see. Look how beautiful Santa is. He's so cute. So cute and pretty. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So this could be a great um, decor piece for yourself, possibly someone else in your life that also loves Christmas uh, decor or Christmas crafting. So I think it'll be a really fun one for us to make together. So I'm actually going to pop this back behind me now. And... That way I don't mess him up while we do some painting here. Okay. <laughs> All right. You guys ready? Okay. Here we go. We're going to get started on the Christmas shadow box DIY decor kit. Um, and I hope this gets you in a merry, merry, merry mood. <laughs> So again, this is our, our kit. Again, very good, solid construction on this. Uh, very nice. Stands up very well on its own. Doesn't need any little feet or an easel or anything like that. And I'm going to start off by painting white. I want um, to have a really nice white background in the shadow box before we put in, um, before I put in the, um, the napkin. I'm going to raise this up just a little bit. So just painting. And we're going to, again, I like to kind of keep things easy on myself. So I'm going to paint the inside of this shadow box also with white, meaning this part right here. Okay, the sides right here, that will all be white as well. Kind of adds to the snowy uh, background, the snowy illusion. So... We're going to paint all of this white. Um, if you're using like a regular craft paint, you might need a couple of coats. Uh, it just depends. You're just going to have to see how the wood soaks up your paint. I'm using the um, Country Chic paint, which is chalk and mineral based. So I'm probably going to be able to get by with one coat. We shall see. Um, you know, one thing I didn't mention and I forgot to start is I kind of wanted to do a giveaway of one of these kits. Would you guys like to win a kit? Let me know. Would you like to win a kit? Let me get the bot base of this, get a coat on here real quick, and then let me start a prize giveaway. <laughs> I think one of you would love to win this kit. All right, let's see. Let's do it, ladies. All right. Let's see. Christmas craft and chat. Okay. I'm just making sure I get it set up correctly. Okay. Okay, good. All right. We're collecting comments right now. 
So we'll give this away live at the end of our Christmas craft and chat today. So right now I'm simply just getting white paint in the background and on the inside, insides. Just want it to be pretty and white. I want it to be pretty and white. So it really makes our napkin pop, makes Santa pop. And I'm really excited to uh, do these now for the season into the next, the upcoming year. It's going to be really fun. Just kind of smoothing out my brush strokes a little bit here. Get, making sure I'm getting in all those little nooks and crannies in the corners. Okay, I see lots of people want to win. Good. Trust me, if I could, I would give it all away. I would give every single one of you a kit. <laughs> all right. So again, just kind of evening out my brush strokes here. This does not have to be perfect, perfect. Okay, I think we're good on this part. And that's all you need for the white. That's all you're going to need for the white. We are, Rhonda, we are selling this as a kit. Um, let me show you. It looks like we've had several more people pop in. So this is what we're making today. We're make, It's an 8 by 8 shadow box. Solid wood construction. I think it's so cute. I can't wait to show y'all how to do the snowy background or, or the snowy snow on the ground. <laughs> All those things. Okay, so our next color is going to be red. Now, I'm going to, because of this, this shadow box is, you know, um, it could be standing anywhere. You really need to paint the whole thing. You need to make sure that you paint the whole thing. So I'm going to turn this over on the back. Oops, I got a little white paint back there. I'm going to start on the back of this and go ahead and I'm painting mine red. I suppose you could paint yours any color you want, but I'm going to paint mine red. This color is called Poppy, but you could use any red paint that you want or any color paint that you want. But we want it to look nice and finished. And I love that there's a lot of space back here on the back. So like if you wanted to print out, um, uh, you know, something Christmassy, maybe the lyrics to a song, here, here Comes Santa Claus, or maybe you want to put a photo back here or some kind of a Christmas message. You could, or you could just leave it alone. <laughs> so you can see with the chalk and mineral base paints, it's a lot thicker. And it's very nice paint. It has a sealer built in it. So you don't have to go back and seal your projects. If you want to distress them, you can sand them. Um, you can do all kinds of different techniques with them. I'm just literally just, just painting out to start right here. And we'll just dry it a little bit as we go, okay? Yeah, you could decoupage the, another napkin back here if you wanted to. Whatever you want to do. Music, I think, could be pretty back here. Whatever you want to do. Okay, I think that's probably dry enough for me to go ahead and do the sides here.
And I'm going to actually be sparkling mine um, on the sides and on the front. I just felt like, I don't know, Santa, a Santa project. It just really, it just needs to sparkle. <laughs> it should feel magical. So again, if you're using like your regular acrylic craft paint, um, just watch how the first coat dries because it might kind of soak into the wood a little bit. And it might need a second coat. But I think mine's going to be fine with just one coat. This is my favorite Christmas red. It's called Poppy. Right, let me keep moving it around here. I'm trying to show you, we've got several Christmas crafting chats planned for you Wednesday to Wednesdays and Fridays in December. So we're trying to show you the ones that have kits first. So that way we can get things shipped out to you um, quickly so that you can get things made or gifted. Um, and because Christmas is going to be here <laughs> before we know it. All right, almost done with the sides. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to dry the bottom again, just to make sure the bottom is completely dry before I turn it over. You're working on candles and ornaments today, Darla. That's going to be fun. Two of my favorite things. Oh, Sue. Okay. So you're going to be doing, you do your Christmas crafting in January. I get that. <laughs> we want, um, the whole reason really in us making this kit is, we want to make your Christmas crafting easier for you this year um, and because, you know, that way all the bits and pieces are gathered up for you, right? Like everything comes to you um, and then all you have to do is paint, decoupage your napkin, add sparkle wherever you want to add sparkle. It's going to be fun. So watch what I'm doing here. I'm going to be very careful. Um, now, some of you, if you wanted to, you could actually tape the edge. Um, and watch what I'm doing. I'm coming like almost to that inside edge without going all the way in. Okay. And I'll expand my screen when we start doing other stuff here. Uh, I'll change that up, but let me just get this paint on. So I'm going to use my big brush just for painting this part. And then I'm going to come around with a smaller brush to get right on that edge. Um, but if you do feel like you would want to tape it off, you could. Some painter's tape, some washi tape. Actually, I might be able to get this okay. And we can always, if you do get a little bit of red on the inside where the white is, um, I don't want you to panic about that either because that's something um, you could just touch it up with some white paint. There we go. So I'm just taking a smaller brush to kind of go around these edges. And if I need to touch something up, I, I will. actually looks kind of snowy when you leave a little bit around the edge. <laughs> there we go. Okay. 
Almost done. Right there. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I'm a neater painter. <laughs> um, just tape it. Just put some tape in there, or even a piece of scrap paper or something, just against the side to help you if you need it. And now we dry. <laughs> Are you guys, have you done some of your shopping? Or or I say, I hope you've done some of your shopping. Are, is anybody finished with their shopping? I am not. At some point, I'm going to have to just like take off a couple days and just knock it out. <laughs> yeah, don't worry too much about this. And if you did happen to get a little bit of red um on like one side and then let that side be your bottom right because we're going to put snow down there anyway so i just want to be sure everything's pretty good and dry um before i start handling the inside You just have a couple more people to buy for. Well, that's good. <laughs> Rhonda, you're kind of like me. You haven't started shopping yet. I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm being better this year. We're not doing as much shopping, shopping. I'm making some things um, to gift. And then mainly I'm, um, you know, well, I can't, I can't tell y'all till after Christmas what I'm doing because my family will be watching and they're sneaky and they try to find out. <laughs> I'll tell you after Christmas. But I do need to get a few fun things for my grandkids. All right. I think we're good. Okay. I think we are good to go. I have snow on my work table. And once you have snow on your table, you just have snow on your table. <laughs> okay. So I think this part was pretty easy, right? I mean, I think you can see white on the inside and the inside edges. Okay. Red on the back, on the outside edges, and on this little framework on the top. Okay. Super easy. Or, or colors of your choice. But make sure this one is white because we want, this is going to, our napkin kind of has a snowy look, a snowy background, actually has a really beautiful background. We're going to look at it closer here in just a second. I'm going to move a couple things out of the way. I'm going to wrap my brushes with a baby wipe here till I go wash them up. I do that sometimes to keep them from getting all, you know, dried up. Just wrap them up in a baby wipe. Works well. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to play with our napkin. Okay, this is our napkin. So the reason I have the white, look at the background. I love this background. Look at that church in the background. We've got all this kind of snowy, pretty silvery grays, um, just really, really pretty. And uh, like I said, in your kit, you're going to have two so you can decide which one um, you want to use. Whichever direction you want him to go. Let's see. I have one going. How did I do mine? I think I did the first sample going like this. So I could do the second sample going like this. Either way, I'll do that just so y'all can see the difference. Okay, we have to separate our napkin, all right? If you've never done napkin art before, you got to take the plies off. I do it like this, just with my finger, just tapping my tongue and just pressing and letting it kind of separate off. Um, but I have been told that there are a lot of people out there that don't have sticky as sticky spit as me. 
<laughs> so if that's not the case, you can dip your finger into just a tiny little bit of Mod Podge, tap it together until it's kind of sticky, and then um, and then do the same thing. Just push your fingers together to separate the plies. This particular napkin has three plies, which means you have to take off two. There will be two that you'll need to take off because the one we want is this layer. We want the layer that has all of the napkin art, right? We want that layer. That's important. <laughs> okay, so now that we have this layer, um, I think you can kind of see. I'm going to change my camera view here. So um, you'll notice, let me zoom this out just a little bit. Okay, so yeah. you'll notice, do you see like even on this, this brown, how it just kind of looks darker? But look when we put it on the white. Do you see how it's going to be crisp? We want it to be crisp white. So don't be tempted to put in a different color in this background. Make sure that it's a really nice, pure white. Okay. Now, the only thing we're going to need to do for this is to have a little bit of Mod Podge. I'm just going to use a Mod Podge mat, which is the yellow label. You're going to need enough Mod Podge to put it down and then also to seal the, the napkin. So it won't take too much. Okie dokie, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and just dip in my brush into the Mod Podge. And I'm only, I only need to put it um, on the background, the square back here. Try to make sure that you get it all the way into the corners. We don't want to miss any spots. It's a good idea sometimes to hold it up in the light just to, to look and make sure every little bit of it is covered. And our napkin is going to fit right down in here. Okay. So you can kind of see that in the light. You see what I mean? How it's going to look all nice and wet. We want to make sure we don't have any dry spots. And then I'm going to kind of bring this, watch what I do. I kind of drag it. I'm going to kind of drag it down and I'm going to let it just fall. Just let it fall. You'll be able to kind of manipulate it a little bit, but just let it fall right in. Okay. You can kind of tap it down a little bit here and there. And if you have a little bit of white showing on these edges, please don't worry about it. We're going to have a lot going on in here. Um, and I'm going to use this uh, plastic sheet. You can use plastic wrap uh, to go down on the inside. And watch what I'm going to do first. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to smooth Santa. I want to make sure his face has no wrinkles. I want him looking good. Holly jolly. Very merry. <laughs> I want him looking good. And then you'll start pressing out, you know, to the outside edges. And sometimes that takes care of that little bit of white. But like I said, there's going to be so much going on. Um, you're not going to have any problems. It's all going to get covered up. Your eye will never go there. Okay, so I'm just making sure. Now watch what else I'm going to do. I do this sometimes when I'm... Um, napkinizing, which is my word for anything I add a napkin to. <laughs> when I'm decoupaging something that's on the inside, it's sometimes it's hard to get in the nooks and crannies. So this is just a dry paint paintbrush, dry paintbrush with, you know, kind of a straight edge, because this is what I'll do. I'll kind of push this into the corners, into that little, that little edge on the inside, just to be sure we're getting everything down. We don't want any little flippy corners, anything like that. And then um, again, we're just going to take this all the way around. And I think we're done. All right, here we go. Now we're just going to lift this plastic wrap up. Just peel it back carefully because Mod Podge will come up through the napkin. Okay. And so just don't yank it out, take it out kind of slowly. And look, 
He's just amazing. He's just so cute. So here's what I wanted you to see the the difference. Let's look at them together here. Let me zoom back out a little bit. So do you see the difference here? So you could have Santa on this side. You could have Santa on this side. It's going to look cute no matter what you do. Okay. It's going to look super cute. All right. Alrighty. Let's bring it back in a little bit here. I want to make sure you can see really well what's, what I'm going to do next. So the next thing I'm going to do is just take my heat gun. I want to dry this napkin before I put a thin top coat over it. We are going to do a little bit of pen work. Just a little bit. Okay? <laughs> there we go. I usually just kind of feel of it. As long as it doesn't feel real cold or clammy, then I'm good to go to put that top coat on. Okay. Now, Diana, what I use is uh, these deli bakery sheets, um, not wax paper. Um, if you don't have, if you have something that's like a plastic wrap, even saran wrap would work. Even cutting uh, like a sandwich bag or a freezer bag, if you cut that apart, and use part of that plastic, that will work as well. But I love these deli bakery sheets. They just pop out um, like, like Kleenexes. They just pop out like Kleenexes and they don't, it's a great because this type of plastic wrap doesn't stick to itself. <laughs> so I really, really love using these. Okay, next step. Oops, I got my Mod Podge on my pen. Okay, next step is we're just gonna put a nice thin coat of Mod Podge on top of our napkin art, okay? Now, the reason we're doing this is, uh, first off, it's to protect it. We wanna protect it. Remember, it's a really thin tissue. So we wanna make sure it's protected. We also wanna seal it because I'm gonna do a little bit of pin work around Santa. And um, if I don't seal the napkin and I do the pin work, my napkin wants to absorb the ink because that's what napkins do. That's their job in life is to absorb. So I want to be really careful about that. So we're going to do get our top coat on. This will just take a second to dry. It'll look kind of milky at first, but it'll it'll dry crystal clear. No need to put it around the edges unless you just want to, like the inside edges. Sometimes it'll get up on the edge, but I'll leave that up to you if you want to do that. Okay. Now we're done with the Mod Podge. So I can wrap that brush in here. <laughs> and I'm going to clean my fingers up. This is a good time to kind of do a quick cleanup while this is drying. Because I have a tendency to get paint on my hands. <laughs> and all over. So does anybody have any questions so far? Yeah, the deli sheets, the deli bakery sheets, they are a game changer. And you guys, they're in my Amazon. I have an Amazon storefront for things that I don't carry in the shop. Um, and so I have the ones I use are listed in there. Um, if you guys want to check that out, but I do love them. I love them. They work beautifully and they just make such a difference in your napkin art You're, it's going to be much smoother much wrinkle much more wrinkle free they're great to use on anything that's a smooth surface okay you sprinkled it out awesome thank you guys thank you thank you thank you for doing that i appreciate that This is a really fun um, put together. It really is. All right. So I'm just kind of speeding it along. You don't have to do this at home. You would just start working on something else or, you know, walk away from it for a minute and let it dry on its own. But I want to be a good steward of your time. So there it goes. He's drying. He's drying nicely. I know the, the Christmas tree on the napkin is beautiful. 
and it kind of, you know, you feel kind of bad covering it up. But again, this is a shadow box. So a shadow box for me, it has to have some dimensional things in it. And um, I was so excited when we found this six inch tree. Six inch trees are not that easy to find. Um, and it has a beautiful little kind of wooden, um, I'll show it to you here, a little wooden um, trunk on it. Super cute. All right, but we got to do our pen work first because if we get too much going inside this shadow box, it's hard to get your hand in there <laughs> to do uh, to do the, the pen work. So again, I'm going to, let's just kind of zoom in a little bit here on our beautiful Santa. I'm going to use um, my pit pens for this. So pit pens are great. Um, they have India ink in them which is um, a great ink because it's made for mixed media. First off, you can write and draw and doodle all over all kinds of mediums, but it also is steadfast once it's dry. So it won't react with moisture again. So if we stickle over um, some of Santa, which we will, um, you know, it's, it's not going to smear or bleed or anything like that. And I'm kind of leaning, I believe, I'm trying to remember, I believe I used the small tip on Santa. So I'm going to just do a little bit of work here and then I'll kind of hold it up so that you can see um, what I'm doing. And I'm going to go around first around anything that's that's red. Just a squiggly outline, you guys. Just kind of squiggly outline. This is not meant to be perfect. We want it to look um, a little what's the word kind of artsy doodly and you'll see that sometimes I go back over my pin work kind of a, a little extra I call it a double trace let's go into some of the folds on his suit his arm here so just look if you look kind of specifically at his arm hopefully you can see that okay um, you'll see it a little better when we start going over the white but I'm gonna do this part first just want him to have a little extra definition here in the shadow box because we're going to be peering at him into you know the background of this shadow box um, i'm going to do a little bit of pen, pen work also on his sack his sack of toys and again just it's okay to go back and kind of double trace over that just oh, let's do some of the little folds there's a little ribbon right here with some looks like mistletoe maybe i don't know i'm not sure exactly what that is i'm also going to do a little bit on the teddy bear here this is i dot his eyes just want him to stand out a little bit the presence again because we're going to be looking at it inside of the shadow box just want it to have a little more detail. Okay. You see that okay? I'll try to be still. <laughs> All right. Now, there's also a present over here. Let's don't forget about it. And then I want you to watch because I'm going to just kind of start working my way down. I am going to do some pen work around the white. OK, I am going to do some pen work around the white and um, this part I know can be kind of scary for people, but I actually want you to be very wiggly. OK, I want you to be very wiggly because this would be kind of the fur, right? The fur from his hat. And again, we're going to be looking at this kind of at a distance. I'm going to be really kind of delicate with his mustache here, just little lines. And then just kind of little squiggly wiggly around the beard. A little squiggly wiggly around anything that is fur, right? On his, uh, his little cuffs on his jacket. Some of you will love this part because you don't have to be super perfect. We're going to be a little wiggly right around here. We're going to be not wiggly on the belt buckle. And the belt. A 
and then wiggly again. I'm going to kind of be wiggly down the center of this coat. All of this is going to get sparkled up, so don't don't judge your wiggly uh, artwork here, and and don't judge mine either. <laughs> This is the only thing we're doing pin work on is Santa. And let's do a little bit on these boots. A little harder probably to see on his boots, but it's there. Okay. So let me, I'm going to hold them kind of straight like this, just so you can see. See, just that little wiggly, squiggly look around anything that's fur or his face, okay? Um, he's got a little tuft of hair coming down out of his cap. I'm just going to do a couple little lines on that, and that, that's pretty much it. Okay, you don't have to, well, let's do a little bit right here. You don't have to do the star. I'm not even sure how much of his glove is going to show because all of that is going to go behind the tree. Okay. All right, let's back this out a little bit. And again, I promise it's one of those things where when you look at it, um, it's just going to help you. We're froze for some reason. Hang on. There it goes. Okay. It's just going to help give him some definition. Okay. Just going to help give him some definition. Isn't he darling? He's so, so darling. Okay. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and add in our tree. You guys ready for that? We're going to add in our tree. Try making this a solo layout and let's see if it stops freezing. I don't know if it will. We'll try. So you can probably hear me. What I'm doing is I'm unwrapping the tree. Your tree is going to come in a package. Come on, camera. Okay, hang on, guys. There he is. I'm going to go back to this right here. Okay, I don't know why that keeps freezing up, but this is your bottle brush tree. Okay, so it is wire. You can move it, you can bend it, but this is what I wanted you to see. Look how cute. Look how cute the bottom is. It looks like a wood slice, and it is the perfect size for the shadow box. However, it is going to need a bit of a haircut, just a haircut. That's all. The wood part will fit perfectly in your shadow box, but it is going to need a bit of a haircut because we need it to fit kind of a little flat. We want the tree to kind of lean back a little bit and, and be a little flat against the, the back of the shadow box. Okay. So to do that, um, I'm taking all my wrapper off here. You're going to want to do this over a trash can. OK, <laughs> because it can be a mess, a mess. So I'm going to switch my view here. I'm going to do it on top of this baby wipe. We'll see how if it's not going to be too messy. If, OK, I know, right? It really is a cute kid. So I'm going to take um, the tree here and you can decide, like if you have a certain side you want to be the front or, or the back or whichever, it all looks pretty much the same to me. But do you see how the, come on camera, there we go. Do you see how the tree extends out past the wood part? This is the part we're going to cut off. So we're just going to cut. And I would recommend doing this on top of a trash can because they kind of go everywhere. They kind of can just go everywhere. And let's make sure that we've got a nice, flat back. 
Okay, so we have a nice full front, but we want a nice flat back. Okay, I think you can see that pretty good in that shot right there. Okay, nice flat back. Now, if you're not sure if you need to do more, then we'll just come in and we're going to kind of sit him in place. We'll just kind of sit him down, and make sure he's going to fit okay. Okay, if you feel like you need to pick to uh, take off more, then you'll just take off more. So let me clean up this mess I just made. <laughs> Oh, I just use craft scissors. Any kind of scissors will work. Just don't use like your fabric scissors um, when you're cutting the bristles on the tree. Any kind of scissors will work. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, go ahead and glue him in here. Um, so it's going to get glued basically right where the napkin tree is. Okay, right where the napkin tree is. You want to make sure that you've got your hot glue is plenty hot. And I'm going to start kind of blobbing some just kind of here on the back. And then I'm very quickly going to put a little bit down here on the bottom. And then we're just going to line him up with the star. Pay attention to where that star is on the napkin. I'm kind of pressing him down in place. Got to kind of hold him down the bottom part and the, the tree part <laughs> and give it just a minute. We need to hold it just a second and so that that glue can really grab it. Okay. Yep. We're giving him a haircut. That's exactly what you're going to do <laughs> until he fits flat. Okay. We want him to fit flat in there. Oh, it is. It's so cute, you guys. Okay, I think mine is good and stuck. So just be patient, kind of holding him down. He's still wiggling just a little bit up here. Let me hold this part just a little bit longer. Okay. Okay. I think he's in there. <laughs> All right, he's in there, and that looks so cute, right? See how his Santa's hand is just going straight up there? Um, it's going to be super, super, super darling. So what I'd like to do next is go ahead and decorate the tree. All right, we're going to go ahead and decorate the tree. So you're going to need your little goodie bag here. And let's just kind of get out a few things. The ribbon and the twine can wait. We'll put them over here. And let's just get everything else out here. And be careful because these little styrofoam bulbs want to go everywhere. Put your peppermint to the side. We'll use it later. But um, let's go ahead and glue in some things. Now, you're going to have a little pom-pom in your kit. A little tiny pom-pom. Go back to this view for just a second. You're going to have a little tiny pom-pom in your kit. A little teeny tiny pom-pom. And we can make it sparkly. We'll make it more sparkly. But we're going to add this pom-pom. You can't really see where there would be a palm on the napkin. We're just going to put it there. So I'm going to... Whoops, I need some more glue stick. Let me get some more glue stick. I know it was like the perfect size tree. It was just like everything came together with this project so well. So I'm going to drop a dot of hot glue right in here, and I'm going to stick my palm in there. I want Santa to have a palm on his hat. This palm is a little bit big. I think the ones we're putting in your kit are a tiny bit smaller, but so cute, right? Got to have a palm on his hat. <laughs> And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the star on the tree. Okay, so here's the star. Um, this star has a little thingy on it. Most of the time you can just break it right off. Okay, just break that part off. If you can't break it with your fingers, just it's just plastic. Just snip it with your um, um, snip it with your scissors. And so when we get ready to put this on the tree, something I want to tell you is. I don't want the star angled backwards. I want it standing up. So guess what? I'm going to do a tiny bit of 
cutting right here at the at the top of the tree I'm going to trim off uh, just a tiny little bit here so that my star can kind of nestle in here and be straight okay so just trim a tiny little bit off just a tiny bit we're going to come back with our hot glue and then our star is going to kind of sit right in that little bit that we notched and we're going to hold it we're going to hold it level um, because if we try if we let it go too soon it'll fall back okay <laughs> thank you diane that's such a sweet thing to say thank you i'm so glad you like our kids i hope that you're having a good holiday season yeah, if you get the little fairy lights, um, that's really good suggestion, Jan. If you got the little fairy lights, right, the little tiny lights, you could totally put them in the tree if you wanted the tree to actually light up. That would be really cute. Okay, now, do you see how my star is perfectly straight? It's straight. It's not falling back, and it looks like Santa has just put the star on the tree. I love this part. I love it. I love how it came together so cute right so cute okay so the next thing you're gonna have in your kit is some of these little glitter balls these little glitter ball things here and we're just going to decorate the tree with these now i i'm going to randomly put these on the tree now i know some of you maybe want to may want to kind of i don't know just 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 i don't know i'm going to be i'm going to be Let's say, let me see. How can I say this? I'm going to be purposefully random. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, I'm going to put a little blob of glue in here. And I'm going to stick in my first ornament. Just stick it, push it into the bristles of the tree. Okay, you may have to hold it in the top part where it's a little tight. Just press it down. So I know I put a red one there. So maybe let's put a green one over here. It's going to be much easier on you if you put your glue into the tree and then put the ornament in rather than trying to put the glue on that little ornament because you're probably going to burn yourself. So let's come over here and do a gold. And if you have to just hold it with your finger for a second for it to catch. And so... When I say purposefully random, I mean, I'm, I'm being kind of random with the colors, but I don't want the same color next to the same color, right? I don't want like a tree that's all red on one side. <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay, so we need another red. Let's stick another red in here and just put them anywhere you want. Let's stick that one there. So we have green, red, so maybe a gold over here. I can hang on to it. Uh, let's put a green right here. Another gold right here. Oh, I might have put one too many ornaments in here. I'm, I'm going to count them here in just a second. I think it's 10 that will be in your kit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, I do have room for one more. Let's put one over here. Perfect. And now we have a decorated tree. Super easy, super cute. Put the glue into the tree and just push in the little um, glitter balls. Very cute. Now, you may even have some little miniature things in your own stash. If you want to kind of add in and decorate your tree in your own way, um, feel free, right? Personalize it however you want. 
So I think that looks really, really cute. So we're going to um, let this just kind of sit for just a second. The next thing we're going to work on is going to be the snowy, um, the snowy stuff. Okay. The snow, the snowy ground. <laughs> All right. So let me get what we need for that. So you're going to have some, um, basically what this is, guys, is just batting in your, in your kit, okay? So it may come to you kind of scrunched up in a ball or kind of rolled up like this. But when you get it, I want you to start kind of separating it out when you get ready to use it. We're going to kind of separate it a little bit. You can even separate it into just clumps. Um, this is going to help us to give us kind of this fluffy snowy kind of background, but then we're going to sprinkle it with snow. Okay. So it's still going to look really pretty and sparkly and snowy and all of that. Now I've got to figure out how best to show you this. Um, okay. This might work. I think, let me see if I can put, if I put a paint behind here. Okay. That's pretty good. All right. Okay. That's pretty good right there. I want you to be looking kind of right down in here. Okay. So hot glue again, hot glue is the name of the game with this craft today. So let's start over here where we just have this little area. We're going to drizzle in some hot glue and it's okay if it even gets on the side and even a little bit on the back. Okay. And then we're going to take a, a piece, a clump of this and we're just going to kind of push it in, just kind of push it in. It's okay if it's fluffy, right? It's all right. That's a good thing. We want a fluffy little area of snow right there. Okay. Very, very easy to do. Um, we're going to do the same thing. Let's start over here. I'm going to put some kind of on the side, on the back, and on the bottom in this corner. Okay. And we're going to take another piece and just kind of push it in there. Just let it grab. You don't have to smash it against the, the glue. It's going to grab it really well. So do you see how I'm kind of com coming up a little bit here? Now let's fill in this part. The only place I'm not going to put it is going to be in front of this wooden um, trunk. I like the wooden trunk. I don't want to cover that up. <laughs> and I'm going to bring it down a little flatter in here because of Santa's boots. Kind of want to see Santa's boots. So we kind of have like some snow drifts happening. <laughs> I want to see a little bit of Santa's boots. I have a very long, weird piece of my tree there. Let's trim that off. Okay. <laughs> okay. That is step one. That is step one. Now I'm going to do something kind of unusual. I'm going to take my heat gun. All right, I'm going to take my heat gun um, and I'm going to put a little heat to this batting. And what's going to happen is it's going to kind of, um, I don't want to melt it. Okay, I don't want to melt it, but it kind of draws it up a little bit and makes it not quite so fuzzy. If I kept the heat on there too, it would start to kind of melt it. Okay. Um, so just a little bit, it just kind of, kind of helps, I don't know, just helps kind of compact the snow, I guess is the right word for it. <laughs> and now you're going to have these, these sparkly snow. This is faux snow um, in this little bag. So here is how this is going to work. I'm going to, again, come in with my glue gun. Let me grab another glue stick here real quick. All right. I don't like loose uh, glitter. I don't like loose um, things. So I'm going to drizzle some hot glue. Don't touch it. Just drizzle on top of it and kind of at the bottom of it. Okay. Don't touch it because it'll try to grab your glue gun. And then just come in and sprinkle. And whatever grabs, grabs, we're going to let it just sprinkle it in there. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Don't let it touch the batting. Just drizzle it. Okay. Do it in three sections so that the glue doesn't dry all the way too fast on you. 
And the glue actually looks kind of cool in here because it kind of almost feels kind of icy, but most of it's going to get covered up because of the snow. And then over here, so over here I've got kind of a snow drift. So let's make sure we get some on top. Just drizzle. And then sprinkle, sprinkle the snow. Great way to add snow and to get that lift that you want by using the batting, it's perfect. And it's still soft and all the things. Okay, so I'm going to take, now that this part over here has kind of dried, I'm going to take, because it's still kind of sticky, you can kind of tamp it down a little bit. Make sure it's had a few minutes to sit there. I've got a little left in my bag. And if anything falls out, we're going to put it back in our bag because we're going to put a little bit of this on the top of our box. It's going to look amazing. Okay, so just kind of tap it. You can let it sit there, let it sit there a minute. Whatever spills out, we're going to put back in our bag because we're going to put a little bit of sprinkling of snow on the top of our shadow box. Okay, so try to save a little bit. You should be able to save um, plenty enough. It's not going to take much on the top. I just want some around the peppermint. Um, and let's go ahead and, and again, let's kind of look at this up close. Look how pretty. <laughs> Isn't it pretty with the sparkly snow? Such a great technique. Just a really, really cute technique. Now mine's still kind of drying, so I could probably tap it off one more time, but... I'm going to leave it like this for a moment. Okay. Now is a good time while the snow is kind of setting up on the hot glue. Now is a really great time to go ahead and grab your stickles. Okay. We're going to go ahead and grab our stickles and we're going to stickle up this snowman. Now I want to show you, I'm going to show you unicorn. I love unicorn, especially at the holidays. It is so cute because it has flecks of silver and gold in it. So um, sometimes when you get a brand new bottle like this, uh, if the tip is not open, you may have to snip that tip off. But I'm just going to use the tip of this, just the tip of the bottle to apply this. So I want you to look at it before. There's before. And then I'm going to squeeze this. So anything that's white on Santa anything that's white is going to get this sparkle. Now look at it. Can you see the sparkle on that cuff? <laughs> it's so sparkly, you guys. I love it. So this is called unicorn. If you have diamond or crystal, those will work as well. Also, I'm going to put some on his, um, I'm going to put some on his beard. I'm going to put a little bit on his mustache and his eyebrows, just a tiny little bit. So I'm gonna make sure you can see that sparkle. Sometimes it's hard to show sparkle with all the lights. I sure hope you can see it. It's so pretty. Um, also, you can squeeze some out on the pom pom, and you could use a you know a brush or your finger just to kind of pounce that on if you want that to be more sparkly. And then again, I'm just going to come in and put, I don't want to sparkle all of Santa because then, it, you know, you, you kind of lose some of the effect. We just want to sparkle the white. So I'm using the tip to just color this in. Just squeeze it and then just use the tip to, as almost like a paintbrush. Or you could use a paintbrush if you prefer. And right here on the cuffs on his pants or his boots or whichever this is. Perfect. It's so cute. All right. Can you see all that? Let's see if we can see it better on this camera. He is really sparkling. <laughs> I think it looks great. 
So now that part can be drying. This part is drying. I'm going to go ahead now because I kind of wanted everything to sparkle. I'm going to actually put some dip dots of sparkle, just a little dip dot, dip dot, dip dot. And I'm going to take the brush that I just used a minute ago. Was it this brush? No, I'm going to get this brush. And I'm just going to start pouncing this. I want this, this shadow box to sparkle. So this is an ultra fine glitter that's in stickles. So I love it. So it's not too overpowering. Um, but it just looks so pretty. You see, it just looks so pretty along um, our box here. What do y'all think about that? You like that? I love stickles. And the main reason, I'll tell you the main reason. The main reason I like stickles so much, you guys, is um, it's not loose glitter. glitter. <laughs> I'm just not a fan of loose glitter. I don't like things to shed. So I love it for sparkle and just pouncing with your brush or your finger if you want. Sometimes I just pounce it on with my finger. And I'm going to do it on every side here. And then I'm going to let you decide if you want to put it on like the sides of your box. Um, on my sample shadow box that I showed you, the finished one, I put it on the sides but not on the back because I'm not sure what I want to do on the back yet. And I'm just going to work my way around. Isn't it pretty? But, but again, it's thin. It's sheer. It's going to dry really fast putting it on like this. And nothing's going to shed. I like the way it looks on the red. It looks pretty. I'm going to go ahead and do the top now because um, we're going to do the top and I want to make sure this has time to dry. Um, we're going to put a bow up here. This little shadow box is going to look like a present. It's going to be so cute. You don't have to have quite as much on the top because there's going to be lots, lots of action happening up here. But for sure you're going to want it around the edges and all of that. Let me add a little bit more. And by pouncing it on this way, a little goes a long way. <laughs> you can't have too much stickles. <laughs> yeah, just wash your brush out. You don't want to let it dry. So like if I'm still crafting, I'll put it like in a baby wipe or something and wrap it up. But yeah, just warm soapy water. I, all my brushes usually I clean with warm soapy water. I use Dawn soap um, uh, generally at home. If I ever forget, and it happens, right? It happens to all of us. If we forget to wash out our brushes, um, some of us are late night crafters and we just, you know, you get tired and you just forget. Um, a miracle cure for that um, is Murphy's Oil Soap. There's pretty much no brush I've ever had that I haven't been able to clean with Murphy's Oil Soap. <laughs> they might have to sit in there for a while, right? They might have to um, soak for a bit, but that stuff will clean anything. Okay, just making sure that looks fairly even. Oops, just stuck my finger in that one. It's almost already dry. And like I said, I didn't add any stickles to the back and because I'm just not sure what I'm going to do yet. I kind of trying to decide if I want to print something out back there or maybe put a photo of like my kids when they were little with Santa. Um, I don't know. I don't know yet. 
Got time to think about that. That might not even get added this Christmas. That might be another Christmas. <laughs> Oops, got a snowflake. Okay, I think I'll stop with this, this part. But I think you get the gist of it. This is a good time to go ahead and like use the dryer again on the inside. Um, just so if, any, if there is any loose snow, you know, now's the time for it to come out. I just had a few little flecks. So that's pretty good. Did pretty good for me. Um, the other thing that I do sometimes, I'm going to do it right here, is sometimes I'll go in and add just a little more hot glue. Because when you use that uh, heat gun on the, the batting, it will it, it draws up a little bit. So it's kind of nice to just go in and add just a little more. Okay. It's looking cute, isn't it? All right, I'm going to scoot this out of the way for a second. And we're going to work on our bow topper. So here is the ribbon that will be in your kit. You'll have this pretty ribbon. You're going to have some baker's twine. You're going to have a peppermint. And you're going to have some sprigs. Now sometimes these, this has been cut. Sometimes we'll put in like a longer piece, you know, something like that. You're going to wind up, we want to make sure that we have four pieces. So you can just cut it in half. Um, really easily there. Okay. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're doing pretty good. We're almost done. Okay. So we're going to make a tribute style ribbon. One of the easiest bows to make for Christmas time. And I don't want the tails to be too super long with this because we don't want anything really hanging too much over the edge of the shadow box. We don't want to cover up anything. So if we need to cut these shorter, we will. So um, I'm going to take the center, just this top center of the loop, and I'm going to bring it and put it behind this little intersection and then just scrunch it up. Scrunch it up. You can put a clothespin in there to hold it for you. And then we're going to tie uh, this twine, make sure it's even, the tails are even. We're going to tie this twine. Now I don't pull it all the way tight until I take this off so I can make sure that I have it in the center of the bow. I think I do. And then we're going to tie it in a double knot. Whoops. I'll let go. Nice pretty bow here. Okay, let's go ahead and give it um, flag ends. So I'm going to cut a little slit in the center and cut the corner up to the slit. And this corner up to this slit. This one's a little long, so I'm going to cut a little bit of it off. And just repeat. Okay. Now, let me make sure the top of this is good and dry. This is the top. Let me raise this up a bit. Okay, I'm just going to draw the stickles. I'm going to make sure they're really good and dry here before we decorate the top. And then we're going to put something special inside of our shadow box. Okay, so our bow is going to kind of go on like this. We want the loops to stand. Okay, do you see how they're kind of standing? That's why I'm using the stiffer ribbon in this kit, because it's going to help those loops to stand up like that. 
And I only want you in the beginning, we're only going to put some glue right here in the center because we're going to be nestling in. Uh, we're going to be nestling in uh, some of the sprigs, the little sprigs. So just kind of hold that part in the center. Don't worry about your twine right now. Yes, Cheryl's posting the link off and on um, in the comments and for the kit. I'm so glad you guys like the kit. These scissors are my favorite detail cutting scissors. They're called Snips. I think Cheryl just posted the link. They're so awesome. You would love to win a kit. Well, somebody is going to win a kit. One of you is going to win a kit as soon as we get finished. Now, see how my bow stands up nice and straight? It's almost going to look like a present right? It's almost going to look like a present. So let's take our little sprigs now. And these sprigs, if you wanted to, you could dry brush them with paint, and make them look frosted. That would be really cute. So here on the top, I'm going to take some hot glue and just kind of put it on a part of the sprig. I'm going to lift up the, the, um, I can't speak the tail of the bow, <laughs> the tail of the bow. There's where one of them is going to go. And let's do another one. Kind of right underneath the tail, kind of towards the front of the shadow box. This is all wired. So we'll be able to kind of, bend it and you know floof it and all the things and then this piece is going to kind of come in kind of like right in here okay again more glue right along kind of the wired edge lift up your uh, loop of your bow and just stick that down i don't i don't want the end to stick because we may want to give that a little bit of movement All right, let's do this part. Almost done. And same thing, just going to kind of lift and just hold it down there because we can give this a little bit of, kind of give it a little, little life up here. <laughs> we want to give it a little bit of life. Isn't it cute? I love it. Okay, now our twine. We're just going to tie just a normal bow, just a regular bow, tie like you would be tying your shoe. I know we all have different ways of tying our shoes, but whatever works best for you. And I want this bow to be kind of floofy. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> Miss Tracy and her words. Um, loopy, extra kind of big loops. I'm going to tie a little knot in the ends of the twine. Cut a little snippet of that off. And then you can unravel the ends underneath the knot. It makes like a little tassel. And then again, I don't want these hanging down below. Okay, I don't want them hanging down below. So... I'm going to put just a tiny dot of glue underneath the knot. Actually, this one I had to do it there because it's a little bit longer. All right. So let me show you what that's going to look like from the front. See how pretty that's going to look from the front? And if the, these bows, typically this ribbon will relax a little bit. But if you, you are the boss of your bow, I tell people that all the time. You are the boss of your bow. So if you need to take some hot little hot glue dots and hold down different parts of it um, to make it work for you, then just do that. OK, you, you be the boss of your bow. All right. Now I'm going to do one more thing up here. Um, remember, we have our leftover um, snow. Remember our leftover snow? Remember that a little bit? OK. All right. I'm going to put just a little bit of, whoops, need another glue stick, a lot of glue sticks on this project. 
Okay, I'm gonna put just kind of a little squiggle of glue kind of right in here, this little triangle area. And whatever snow I have left, I'm gonna sprinkle right there. Just sprinkle it, let it just kind of grab. And if you wanna put any other little sprinkles up here, you can. much just a little smattering right a little smattering looks like frost you know like a little snow has fallen on our beautiful present our shep present um, shadow box here yeah try not to touch it until it's more sticky and less hot <laughs> And if some of it goes into your branches, it's fine. It'll be fine. Oops. It's not all going to stay. We just want it to kind of grab where it's going to grab. Okay. And um, so just to show you, see, I added a little bit of snow over here, a little bit over here. A little bit right here and then we're going to put a peppermint in the center okay we're going to do a peppermint in the center i don't sell the snow it's just faux snow sparkly faux snow it'll be in your kit um most of the time you can find it at local craft stores this time of year for sure okay so this is going to be our large peppermints and the large peppermint actually we probably should let me turn this over a little bit let's just take off any snow that didn't stick a couple glue hairs in here and let's make sure our bow our twine bow is still kind of floofy okay we still want it to be kind of floofy it'll stay better in place when we glue the peppermint on we're going to put a nice little blob of glue in the center of the bow and boom and there it is so cute so you can kind of keep your loops where they need to be so cute <laughs> now I kind of want my peppermint to be a little more sparkly so even though it looks kind of sugar dusted I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, stickles on this well she's my finger this time and just kind of sparkle I just want it to be just as sparkly as everything else okay it's just a little more sparkly than it was before all right what do y'all think do we like that let's look at it over here <laughs> so cute it really does look kind of like a present right got our little smattering of snow up there okay so our final thing is what does santa bring what does santa bring well santa usually brings presents right um, so I have, you're going to have a couple of presents in your, in, in your kit. Now let me show you the color options because, um, you could possibly wind up with any of these four colors. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to make sure, um, uh, we're going to make sure that you get, uh, two presents. So I don't know, you might get a silver and a red. You might get a gold and a blue. You might get a blue and a red. We're just, you know, you're going to, it's going to be a variety these, all of these colors are going to look really cute in your shadow box. So there's even some blue. There's some blue presents in the Santa bag. So that, that kind of helps tie in the blue. So I'm going to take a couple of these. Um, what colors should I use? You guys, you guys can choose. <laughs> I'm not going to guarantee which colors you're getting in your kit. I'm just telling you, you're going to get two presents. Could be various colors. <laughs> okay. So... Yeah, we could do a red and a silver. That'd be pretty. I'm going to show you how we're going to put them in here in just a second. Okay, you ready? I think I'll do a blue one in this one. Let's do a blue and a gold. We'll do blue and gold on this one. Okay, so when we get ready to put these in, uh, and again, I'm sorry, I have to kind of hold this a strange way to, to be able to show you. Um, on my sample, I put one in with the bow facing out and the other with the bow facing up. 
Okay, so it's really up to you kind of how you want this to look. Um, so we're going to start with the bow that's facing out. So watch my fingers. I'm going to kind of create, I'm going to kind of pull apart a little bit. I'm going to kind of create a little pocket. I'm going to stick in some hot glue and I'm very quickly going to come over and stick my present in that little pocket. Okay, just kind of hold it down in there. We're going to hold it for a second. Now, the other thing I'm going to tell you is if you don't like the color presents that you get in your kit, you guys, you could wrap these in your own paper. You could wrap them in your own paper if you want, your own wrapping paper, <laughs> and they'd be darling. Or fabric, you could do whatever you want to with them. Okay, so do you see how this one now is kind of snuggled into the snow? The little bow is facing the front here. Okay, I think everybody can see that. This tail's a little long. Let's snip that off. There we go. So there's one present. And then our other present is going to come right over here. And it's, again, it's going to be kind of up to you. Do you want it to stand? Do you want it to prop? I actually, ooh, I kind of like this one like that. I kind of like that one like that. So um, let me show you the one, the sample one. Okay, the sample one over here, I just kind of did them straight. See how like there's one here and then there's one up here, kind of up in that snow mound. But you can put these in however you want. So let's put this one in a little more um, wonky. I like wonky. Do you guys like wonky? Where it's kind of overlapping the other present and you can if you need to get glue on even on the back side you can is there a better front no okay so we're going to kind of stick this one in here this way that's cute all right let me just hold him in here for a minute <laughs> Um, and then, of course, if you have anything else you want to put in your shadow box, you can. If you want to put little candy canes in there or you have a little teddy bear or a little toy truck or something like that, you totally can. I'm just getting you started. I'm getting you started with a couple things. But if you'd rather use other little trinkets and treasures and whatnot, you could totally do that as well. OK, there's two more things. And I just realized I didn't pull them over here. So I'm going to go grab them. Hang on. They're just right here. Or maybe I did put them over here. Where did I put them? Hmm. Okay, I'm coming back. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I was all prepared and had all my things here. It's just going to be a couple snowflakes. Okay, a couple snowflakes. So um, we're going to put a couple snowflakes and they're going to be kind of over here on this side. So I'm going to take a snowflake and uh, let's put this one kind of up. I don't want to cover up that pretty church. I love that church in the background. And then this one. Put this one maybe kind of like right here. Yeah, you can decide. You can put them anywhere that you want. Now, I've got quite a few glue hairs working here, so let's get rid of those glue hairs. <laughs> all the hot glue. It's so much easier to just zap them with your heat gun than it is to pick them all off. And we are done. We are done. Look how cute. I'll hold him this way. Let me zoom us back out a little bit. Isn't it so cute? So, 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 so cute. Let's look over here. Our beautiful Santa shadow box. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's look. Let's put this one here. And then let me get the other one. Just so you can see, they look cute going either way. Santa can go either way, depending on which half of the napkin that you use. I think the presents look so cute. We've got our little snowflakes in there, our peppermint on the top, the little bit of snow. I just think they're adorable, and they're not going to shed on you, which is great. If you want all the extra comes out, they're not going to shed it at all. 
Okay, so again, sparkle all the way around the edges. I didn't put any sparkle on the back because I may put something here. I just haven't decided yet. So that that's that's free choice for you. <laughs> Whatever you'd like to do, and um, I just think they're they're just so cute, so so cute.